What do you call a fast zombie? A zoom bee. So hello everyone, today I'm gonna do a book review on the book Nightblade by Garrett Robinson. This book's about a girl named Lauren. She lives in a village in the woods with her abusive parents. One day she sees a guy running through the woods and she's like, oh well who dat? And she goes and talks to him and he says he's running and he's a wizard. So she of course is like, wizard versus chopping wood. Let's go with the wizard. And so she goes back home, she gets some supplies, and she decides to run away. So now they're being pursued by the police who's trying to find the wizard, and she gets involved with that, and then they get separated. She goes out with some other people. Lots of drama occurs, and this book is just a huge cat and mouse chase throughout the entirety of the book. So there's some elements of magic, and there's some elements of fantasy-esque city, which is a setting I love. I've got quite a few notes to discuss, so let's just hop on into my review. First of all, I want to start off by saying I gave this book three stars. Let's first talk about the writing. Whenever I found out this book was self-published, I was really skeptical. I've accepted some self-published books in the past that have horrible writing. This book, I counted only three errors. That's good. The writing, as far as self-publishing goes, really wowed me. No offense, but I had low expectations for this, and it floored me, writing-wise. It wasn't even just, like, grammatically correct, it was really pretty prose. If this was a published book, it would probably get a lot of buyers because the writing is so gorgeous. And it was just a lot of really great analogies, beautiful descriptions. One part of the writing I really liked was the dialogue in this book. It's done like actual archaic prose dialogue, and I don't know if archaic prose is the right thing to say, but it's like very proper speech that you would hear in olden times, so like no contractions. I actually really liked it because it made it seem like you're more aesthetically in that time period. They'd say well met instead of good to meet you, and it was just very cleverly done like that because it just made it seem that much more of a different world, and I liked it. There were a couple things about Lauren that kind of grinded my gears though. One of the major ones was that this book to me was advertised as here's a girl who runs away to become a thief and she's really bad at it. So I read that and immediately I was like, oh, that's gonna be great. I thought it would be like comical almost, but it turned out to just be really, really irritating. Lauren is extremely soft. She knows how to fight and she knows how to hunt, but she doesn't want to hurt people. Like her main deal is like she doesn't want anyone to die. She feels so much guilt about people being sacrificed for her safety. And as far as the thieving goes, she was just so clumsy about it and she wasn't really smart about how to interact with people in order to be sly. And it really clashed with her physical combat abilities. Like you would think for someone that can run down someone that pickpocketed her and tackle them on a roof. It made no sense to me that she would still be so kind of clueless about everything. Yeah, I guess in the next books that'll develop more hopefully. But my main issue with this book was that the plot was confusing. The reason why I didn't really have a great synopsis with this is because I couldn't figure out what the plot was trying to do. The plot was basically a cat and mouse chase for the entire book and I was expecting that she would go on some sort of mission or do something or action-y things. I hoped that magic would play a role in this but there really isn't a ton of magic. There were so many different people that were chasing her that it all just didn't really connect. She basically just spent the entire book correcting her mistakes which I guess is a little bit irritating. The writing is beautiful, but there was really no solid backbone to the plot to support that, so it did sort of drag a little bit. Because I had no clue what her goals were in this book, I wasn't sure if she was trying to become a hero of the city, or if she was supposed to find the magic person she lost, or if she was trying to save someone's daughter. I was like, what are we doing? It was just kind of all over the place and it wasn't confusing. That's not the type of all over the place it was, but it was, there was really no direction to it. It was just kind of like, we're gonna do this, we're gonna do this, we're gonna do this. I actually wrote this down by page 130. I was growing kind of bored. I was like, uh, what's happening? What are we doing? By page 250, I was contemplating whether I wanted to quit. Again, it's not because the writing was bad. It was just I wasn't clinging on to every word. I wasn't excited to know what was going to happen. Was it fast paced? Not exactly. There's not too much action. And when there is action, Lauren doesn't know how to handle those sorts of situations. 
this book is talking about, oh, she's going to become a thief. She's going to do all these different things. None of that really happens until around page 270. More than the first half of the book is just her traveling and making friends and establishing the world and characters, which was... 270 pages is a lot of pages to go without any sort of action. I mean, there was action, but like the main action that the synopsis describes. But one thing that I did like about this book was there is no romance in it, which was very interesting. But then again, I also kind of like it because our main character is 15. And I feel like in books where the main character is that young, I get really exasperated when they're like, I'm going to save the world. I'm going to fall in love. Like, the Legend series was kind of unbelievable because of that. Going back to everything I said about how she was kind of irritating because she didn't know how to do anything, it began to make sense because she's 15 and because she was kind of locked at home forever. That's pretty much all I have to say about this book. As you can tell, the really only problem I had with this book was that the plot was just kind of in the air and wasn't sure where it was going. Otherwise, loved the writing. I loved the personality of the characters. I loved all the dialogue and the interactions. I wish we could see more of the magic. So if book two has more magic, maybe that will be my incentive to pick it up. Also, I really want to mention really quick, the back of this book looks like a Twilight book. But I'm going to hold on. Comparison. Where is the lie? <laughs> so that concludes this review. I hope you all learned something new today. I hope you will go and check out the book. It's, it's a pretty solid fantasy. I liked it. I will see you all next time. Goodbye.